Good, good, good morning, friends. Good morning, Catherine and Adela in Arizona. Good morning, Carmen in the Philippines. So I don't actually see who's watching. I never do. Of the, it's regularly now, I don't know, around a thousand. And I don't see anybody because I have set it up in a way that um, only if people comment or tell me they're watching. Otherwise, I have no clue. So it's a very safe way to, to join in because I have no idea who's there. So good morning. Welcome to my living room. This morning, it is, uh, it's awesome to have you join me this morning for this half hour as we connect our hearts with each other in this unique way and also with the most important person, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Abba Father, Yeshua, and Holy Spirit. It's a mystery, but we, as we have surrendered our lives and as we have invited him in, those of you know that he is the difference maker. He's the way maker, the promise keeper, light in the darkness, beyond a shadow of a doubt. I would not be sitting here doing this if it wasn't for a very personal relationship with the Trinity. Yeah, what a beautiful morning here in Manitoba. It is definitely fall and it is the first day of fall officially. Today, September 22nd, every year it changes a bit if you read up on it. Um, what I didn't know, by the way, till yesterday, or maybe I knew it and I forgot, is that this day, our day, oh, there's my oven, ready for the bread to be baked when I'm done this. <laughs> um, this day, and also the spring, when it turns officially to spring, is the day that it is exactly equal um, night and day. Maybe you knew that. I didn't know that till yesterday, or I didn't remember. And then our um, December 21st, for us, is the shortest day of the year. And for my friends in South Africa, it is the longest day. It's exactly opposite. And our June 20th or 21st, depending, every year, like I said, it's a little bit different. That is then our longest day. Yeah, so there's some, some cool facts for you. Uh, we are looking at a warm-ish week for fall, definitely above average temperatures. Our night went down to, we actually had a risk of frost this past night. I don't see any frost, which is good. And... Um, this week, those of you in Manitoba, you know, we got inundated with rain. Monday and Tuesday, and even um, yesterday still some, some rain, but the heavy rain came on Monday and Tuesday. Many, many, many homes, many basements flooded um, as a result of incredible rain. It just didn't want to stop. So here we are on uh, September 22nd, 2024. And I hope you have your cups of coffee and are ready to sing with me. Before I sing this morning, I want to share a devotional that I did post um, from the devotional Prevail by Susie Larson. And this one is entitled, He Will Save His People From Their Sins. I blew it the other day. I woke up full of condemnation and berating thoughts, though none of those things come from the Father's heart. I then remembered mercy, forgiveness, and grace. I relished afresh the precious gift of God's Son. Our flesh pulls us toward the very things that drain the life and purpose right out of us. Sin of any kind destroys the prospect of new things God wants to do in and through us. Jesus stepped in to interrupt sin's curse and hold on us. He came to save us from the downward cycle that would ultimately destroy us. Consider what Jesus has done. He stepped down from his throne in heaven. He came to earth, endured crucifixion, took our punishment, died our death, defeated our enemy, forgave us our sins, gave us his Holy Spirit, grafted us into the royal family, offered us heir status along with him. 
and made us active participants of his promises, and he ultimately secured our eternity. We won't fully grasp all we've inherited until we see Jesus face to face. But know this today, he will save you from your sin if you allow him to. He wants life for you, wholeness for you, and freedom for you. Isn't that beautiful? Lord, we come before you this morning. Lord, we posture our hearts before you. Lord, your presence a mystery, but we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are with us, that you surround us, that you will never leave us or forsake us. And so I pray for each one of us tuning in, whether now or later, Lord, that you would meet us in this half hour. You know the stresses and the strains of our life, the things that cause us concern, the things that cause us worry. You know the, the, um, you know the storms that each one is in right now. And Lord, I pray that you would come and speak to that storm, which you did when you were with the disciples and you said, peace, be still. And that's what I pray for each of my friends, tuning in, Jesus, that you, your words would ring clear into the deepest place of their heart right now. Peace, be still. And Lord, as we take this time to lift you up, I pray for open heavens over every home, over every person, wherever they are, wherever they are sitting or standing or whatever they're doing, driving, whatever they're doing right now. I pray that you would fill our spaces with the powerful sense of your presence. And I thank you, Lord, that you are a miracle worker. And Lord, even as we as we lift you high in this in this time together, I pray for miracles to be unleashed and opened up and Lord into each one of our situations, the things that we've been contending for, the things that we've been standing in the gap for. We know that you've given us authority over the powers of darkness. And Lord, your word says that our wrestle isn't against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. And so we take authority now because of you and what you did for us on the cross. We take authority, Lord, over those situations that we've been contending for. And we ask, Lord, for miracles to be unleashed in this time together. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thousand reasons for my heart. 
second verse just got me today. The words are so absolutely incredible when we let ourselves just think about them and not just sing them. You father the orphan. Your kindness makes us whole. You shoulder our weakness and your strength becomes our own. You're making me like you, clothing me in white, bringing beauty from ashes. For you will have your bride, free of all her guilt, rid of all her shame, and known by her true name. What part of that this morning do you need to grasp a hold of? in every one of our stories when we surrender when we give up when we let go the exchange is beyond our imagination he brings a, a peace as it talks about in Philippians 4 that is truly 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 beyond our understanding you father the orphan Kindness makes us whole. You shoulder our weakness, and your strength becomes our own. You're making me like you, clothing me in white, bringing beauty from ashes. Yes, for you will have your bride, free of all her guilt and rid of all her shame and known by her true name and it's why i sing your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will Ever be on my lips. So we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, it's your breath. 
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Whew. My goodness. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Some of you wonder why I hug a teddy bear at the end. So this came uh, in those months when we weren't allowed to hug anyone and I was doing the Christmas caroling from my um, from my veranda and we, we weren't allowed to hug and then I had this idea to buy this teddy bear and just to end my <laughs> to end my times with a hug and so that's how that evolved if you think this is weird then um, too bad <laughs> anyways here's a hug for you this morning a big 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 extra big hug and uh, praying for God's blessings over you and and all that you're in the midst of Remember to lean into him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. I love you. God bless you. We'll see you next week, Lord willing. And shalom.